Greetings family, this is Bomani Taimba and we're live on Revolutionary Cam and uh, we have one of our new builders that's going to share a lot of wonderful information about all the work he does and what this is all in reference to is building our Black Star repatriation and Pan-African community there in Jahadzi where right now the first uh, 15 acres is all set, uh, most of those plots are been sold and everyone is ready to start building within the next few years. So right now we have a few people that's looking to build, so we're looking to create a list of more builders. So my good brother here is just gonna explain everything about the work he does, and we're just gonna let him free flow and present himself. Greetings, my brother. Hello, Mr. Bomani. Yes, greetings, Hello. Isaac. Yes. Uh, am nice I, to meet am you. I pronouncing your name right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, tell us about your wonderful building company and um, just break down any details and then uh, and I'll just ask you some questions after that and we just go from there. Yeah, my name is Isaac Aka and I'm the managing director of Ishka Estate and General Construction. We design, we build and our hallmark is quality and honesty and we are also affordable, we are not expensive, we are very very affordable and moderate in our charging yes we have done a lot of works for people people living in the u.s in the europe we have done many works for people mr bomani has a vast land where he's selling to people in the diaspora so what we have to do is that anytime you buy from mr bomani mr bomani will look up with me then I will do your designing and construction for you. And you'll be very happy working with me. Because in Ghana, it's very difficult to get honest people to work for you, to be honest with you. You give them money, you give them your materials, and it's something else. For somebody to work for you in honesty, your materials are safe, your money is safe. You do the work according to specification, it's difficult to get them in Ghana, as you are over there. So I am here. I will work for you genuinely, perfectly, quality. This is what we do. Okay. Estate development. And we also build it for individuals. That's perfect. And, and later on, what we're going to do, family, is going to give you some of his uh, details online, um, online information, because, you know, Everything is about online presentation. Yeah. So one of the main things is you have a YouTube channel already. Yes, yeah, so have, can yeah. you share that information? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel already. That if you go there, you see a lot of my work. And the name of my YouTube is Kujoke. Kujoke. The Kujoke is in small letters. C O U J O E K. Kujoke. C O U J O E K. O is in small letters. Oh, it's in small letter. If you go there, you see many videos. You see many videos. And you see a particular video, there's a Ghana flag on it. That is my work. Go there and check my videos. And you'll be very happy. You'll be very happy. I will work for you. You'll be very happy. That's perfect. Uh, so beyond your YouTube channel, do you have any other online information that people can look at? like Instagram website yeah that one I'm about to also establish that the Instagram the online and those network we are about to move into those online to establish that for people to see what I do in those areas by one month come all these platforms I will be there or by one month all these platforms you see my works and my videos on all those platforms yes Perfect. And also, it's not easy for me to shake him. will shake the camera. So. Uh, yes, family. So, appreciate the information uh, so far, brother. And uh, what I want you to do is, let me, we're going to pull up your business card and see if I can get it to show real bright on the screen. Trying to get one of those widescreen views to show everyone. There we go. Right.
Alright, so fam, that's it. That's uh, Miss Isaac um, Aka. Aka. Yes. Aka, alright, perfect. Yes. And uh, Iska. Yeah. Iska, Iska Estate and General Construction. Perfect. So, how long have you been in this uh, business as far as real estate development? Yes, I've been in this business for a long time. Over 15 years in Accra here. I've done many projects. Clagon, East Legon, Kaswa, Kodoko, Ablekuma, Amasamai, many areas I have worked there. Japan Motors have a lot of work there. Perfect. If anybody just wants to see my work physically, I can take you around for you to see, for you to see it yourself. And you can also even talk to the, the client themselves and they'll tell you who am I and how everything is done. Yes. That's perfect. Yeah, that, that's always good to be able to go to a live uh, uh, work site. Um, I wish I had time to check out one of your work sites, but I don't. But uh, the good thing about it is uh, you have a um, lot of videos on YouTube yes. with all your work sites sure, sure. Uh, showing updates of you just doing the work. Yes. Uh, so beyond that, this you know the next thing is uh, just having organized details as far as this uh, your full process. Uh, so. Anything like that you have, you can just uh, send to me. The goal is to get as much information as possible. Okay. To share with groups or share when we do presentation or the conference calls and things like that. Okay. Or when people request certain things, uh, they want to know what kind of builders are available okay. and so on. Okay. And uh, we have, you know, we have a list of builders and we just, your name will be on there. And then we just need to just get a full detail of all the different kind of building styles you do. Okay. Uh, especially since now we're in this uh, sustainable. Um, off the grid world of just um, you know living more eco friendly. Yes. Uh, so people are looking for things now, building materials that you know things that they can recycle yes. versus just doing a typical building of just sure. cement and sure. um, bricks and so on. So do you do any alternate building style outside of just traditional building with cement, ram earth? Uh, do you do um, dome style? Yeah. What, what, what I do aside the block work is uh, brick. Bent brick. Bent brick. You Bent brick. Bent brick. Brick. Use brick. Brick to construct a house. And that one to. Like this. You understand? Right. Yeah. For a brick house, you see, and this one is not full block like quarry dust block we used to build. This normal construction that we, we understand. But what happened with this one is that the full thing will be done by this our normal way. The full things mm. we use this our normal block to do the full things. Then after the oversight from coming up, we use this brick to continue from that length up. There. But as I said, in Ghana here in particular. Ghana here in particular, what people like more and what people do more, these are our normal houses. Mm -hmm. The concrete and the blocks, as you see, you understand. That's what people do it more in Ghana here. That's what people like it more. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm fine with what people like it more, but um, and what we're looking to do is just find this new sustainable ways for building yes. um, and cut back down on this using materials that make your building too expensive. Yes. Uh, so that's what I was um, asking about. But nevertheless, uh, uh, we have different builders that specialize in different yes. uh, type of buildings. Yes. So uh, I'll just need a, a nice overview yes. uh, to put your information on the list. Okay. And then we can just go from there. Yes. And uh, we, we, we'll connect you with um, your, your, first pro your first project and you know, we just work from there. You know, everything is just based on this building trust and us working together yes. over a period of time. Yes. And that's the main thing I'm telling people. Whenever I see people on YouTube complaining about somebody that's not doing their business right for them, yeah, yeah, sure. uh, you know, one thing about us is, is you know, it's a big group of us, and uh, we have a strong team of people that just work in different energy, yes. you know, from the chief all the way to attorney to the consultant yes. uh, to our surveyor myself uh, the administrator and organizer okay. and our goal is just to find the best people yes. to work with our community the best builders yes. people who do utilities infrastructure yes. people who are just ready just to say hey you know 
let's come together and build black excellence sure. and not talk about it, not play games and be accountable for the work that we commit to doing. Yes. Uh, so that's what I'm looking to build over a period of time and it's, um, you know, and like you talked about earlier today about righteousness, about some people who do certain things, but when you're looking to build a long-term empire for generations, yes. you can't think about the, doing petty stuff when you, you're building a future for your family over a period of time. And that's one thing that you know, I try to talk with us as a people, black people in general, about is like, let's do the right thing and build long-term business. Sure. It's not just like, oh, I'm gonna get this and take this yes. money and yes. chop it up yes. and then disappear. Yes. You know? And when you could have made so much more and been so much more respected instead of running for your life, because yes. we're gonna come after you yes. if you, you chop our money and run. Yes. Uh, so it's, you know, it's all about this building righteousness and, yes. and I appreciate you just starting off with that. It's, yes. uh, that's yours uh, because Without that foundation, you know, we can't really do much. So yes. everything that we do in this uh, operation, Black Star Pan African Community, is this, you know, is about brother and sisterhood, yes. and about us coming together, talking yes. together, and yeah. solving our own problems. Yes. And if we have issues, I'll tell everyone just communicate with me. Yes. And like, say, if you have a issue with one of the person that you're doing some work for, yes. or vice versa, or if they have an issue with you. They reach out to those of us that are organizing things. That we t we yes. talk together. We work it out. We move yes. forward. And we keep building. Yes. Uh, so it's one of the things that you know we have to teach each other as a people yes. that we're the only ones that can solve our problems, and we need to you know work at everything peaceful and organized. So family, I appreciate our brother just literally just you know being clear on those things because. Um, Beyond the fundamentals of building, you know, we have to look at the business relationship of how we do things and are we going to build it in a way where we're going to, you know, make more people come because what people are going to be looking at whenever we go back to the land and we do videos of the, the house that they're going to ask who built that house yes. and things like that. You know, right now, only two houses are going up, but even before that, there was no, I told people it was just all grassland. Okay. So as we go back every time, you land get clear. Uh, by bulldozers and you set up the pillars and people start building okay. and then the houses start building and building and the next thing you know you have a group of people who you have worked together yes. to build a community and then from there on we can work on to bigger projects because I mentioned to you after the 15 acres that we have we have 57 acres okay. and it's a whole lot of okay. other things going okay. so okay. everything we're doing with this 15 acres okay. is like a foundation okay. so we're just asking everybody to think about the future that's, that's my best incentive for you uh, to just give everybody the best price, be reasonable, flexible, sure. that you're going to secure work and business for you, for you your family, and your, your, your brothers that you're working with for a long time. Yes. And then when we finish with that project, yes. we work on another project, then more project, then sure. more project, sure. and more project, sure. and another country, and yes. so on. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll be moving into Af the whole part of Africa. You that's understand? how we build black power. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, yes, we have, to, we have to try and do a lot for Africa, you understand. And in housing, Africa, housing is, is, is a very good business, you understand. Yeah. So for me, what I want us to do today is that, don't let's start think about a small Riniba. What I am thinking now is, like, Riniba is fine. Then we move to, like, we find a, a bigger place to act, like Amasamai. We find another place for Medina. Then we move into like Kumase. We go to Takurade, we go to, we move into all the regional capitals, you understand? Then eventually we move to Africa, we start with some of these African countries, we move into Nigeria, many, all the African countries. We can start putting up estate in all these African countries, which will help Africa. One, it will create jobs. That is number one. Number two, you know, economic, economics, it will also help many people. It will help many people, you understand? To have a place to sleep and put on, you see, their head. So, I believe God will help us for us to read there. We will read there. We will do a lot to Africans. Let's have a better accommodation for all and affordable. One bedroom self contained, two bedroom self contained, three bedroom self contained for everybody. It can be done, it's doable and we can do it. Well, perfect. Perfect, brother. Absolutely. And we're, we're going to keep on moving strong. Yeah. Um, another question I had for you is, literally, uh, do you do commercial uh, development also? You know, factories, 
shop stores, yeah, business. Those, yeah, those days too, I do them. I build factories, shops, commercial properties, schools. We build, I do all those stuff. So if like we want to come to Africa to build a factory, we want to build a school, we want to build a coal store, you can contact me. You can contact me. You have my details on the video. You can contact me. I will handle it for you. And you'll be very happy that I work I work for you. I do all those things. Yes. family so that's our brother information right there and perfect so brother you know that this is a good introduction a good start yes. Um, yes. you know that's how we you know we do it we just connect as a people yes. we introduce ourselves we talk about the things we do yes. and you know we just network some more and yes. you know we just keep in touch yes. and then we, you know we do business from there yes. so appreciate you number one that's making the time out to come out um, and uh, meet me here which is more convenient because I've been all over <laughs> Ghana all over the place yes. and uh, you know you just you get tired and burned out so uh, that worked out good um, because I have uh, a few more uh, business uh, meetings uh, today uh, you know because as we as a people are moving from the African diaspora yes. uh, we're looking to get a better setup for residency okay. um, and also for citizenship so that's the next uh, meeting them having uh, and all these meetings they all work together to where what we're doing is putting together things for, for those who want to relocate to Ghana yes. and uh, they want to be able to just have less stress and issues yes. you know you're on YouTube I'm sure you see that now all the videos about uh, getting land in Ghana is very nice on you know online you see people complain that somebody yeah. did certain things to them yeah so um, you know we all know those things are real I've had some of my own group members been victims of things but you know, education is what's the most important thing because yeah, sure. with proper education as far as how to move around yeah. about Africa yeah. people can become more clear yes. about just not just coming here running and meeting just anybody and then giving them the money to do important work uh, so that's why we build serious relationship with everybody that we do business. You know, we're like a unique family, a global family of brothers and sisters looking to make the, the, the return of our people to the ancestral land this, as organized as possible. And I tell everyone that all those things, we didn't have all these things together before. And little by little, over a period of time, when we're working together, we're putting it in place. Uh, this, is, you know, this is a modern day movement of returning to the ancestral land. And never bef before have we have had these great numbers of people interested in Africa. So now, ultimately, all of this energy we're gonna we put together as a people and we invest in our own motherland. Yes. When you are driving around, as you talk about, you build factories. You're driving around. When you drive around Spintex Road, yeah. you see you see the, all these different business and things. Yeah, sure. You know, you see the, the Palace Mall, you see the China Mall yes. and things like that. Um, you know, everyone has the right to come and do business and things like that. It was like we as a people, if we're a lot more organized, we're the ones that could either compete or open up those businesses, uh, and so that way the money circulates in our family, in our yeah, community, sure, with our own sure, people, sure. and we create a better way of life for our sure. own people. So it's something that sometimes you don't always think because sometimes you're like hand to mouth trying to just eat and trying to just think about yourself and your family. But ultimately, in order for us to compete on this global scale yes. um, against you know, countries that are serious. Know, and they have their people in Africa, and they have their, their billing, the, the enterprises and things like that. Um, you know, in order for us to compete, because even our own government is not just going to give things to us, yes. because you know we feel like they should give it to us. They want, they, you know, they they they, they want you to you know, compete on a level, even though things should be organized to where we, our government give our people first hand in investment. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure, not saying that it's not that way, but. You know, when I, you know, when I drive around, you know, over the last uh, month or so, and even over the last uh, 15 years, you know, you can't but wonder how much is really owned by our own people. Yes. You know, you do know that, you know, we have black ownership, but is it enough? Yes. Like in America, it's, the level of black ownership is so little. 
because everybody else provides all the business and everything for us. Yeah. So in our own country, like Ghana, yeah. we have to take that, you know, we're going to have foreigners invest, but we also have to be the ones to take that investment to another level. Yes. Yeah. So real estate management and development family does, you know, go hand in hand and it does help certain things because as we're talking about these factories and business and building, it all, all have to be developed from the ground up yes. and it requires skilled builders, yes. architects, engineers yes. sure. and people who just you know, know the ground and know the land. Yes. So you're saying you're that person, you're that man. Yes, I'm that man. <laughs> there that you go, man. brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, so because the land that we have, um, we do have a commercial district. Um, the chief wants to develop and also okay. we have commercial areas on the second phase okay so that's what I mentioned those things okay because you know we have to you know build our own you know you know own unique way of life to where we can recirculate the money as best as possible because yeah, sure. sure. you know there's once you step out you start entering these malls I mean like I mentioned not much is really owned by our own folks you yes. know we have people there working there which is you know, which is not bad yes. but um, it's it's another way just to, to to take money out of a community, and make other people rich. Uh, so you know that's what I'm looking at, brother. I'm looking at it all together as us building a fresh energy of this yeah. black ownership yes. with all black people working together, you know, straight black that power. That is fantastic. Yeah, that is fantastic. And then you see, if you look at the world now, the future is Africa. The future of the world is Africa. What am I saying? We have land, we have water, we have fertile land, we have forest. And the youngest population and in the world, right? Yes. And then, so we can go and look for ourselves. So people who are living in the diaspora, Ghanaians or Africans, America, you know, please, turn back home. Turn back. Come and invest. It will help you. And it will help Africans too. To take charge of our destiny. Uh, thank you. Absolutely, yes, brother. We well, appreciate the energy and uh, family. Um, I appreciate you tuning in and uh, enjoying my connection with my uh, good brother and one of our new builders. I'm happy I uh, was able to meet so we can share the information. And uh, we look forward to connecting with you more. And the thing I want to mention to you, whenever we have our Ghana May and Ghana December tour uh, with the postcard I showed you, we, have, we, all, we always have a business conference. So doing a business conference is another time where you can come out, meet the other members, and meet other people in our tour group and other people we have in the dash with us looking for builders, and do a nice presentation, and then you know meet more people. So okay. this is uh, the start of you know of a whole lot of networking. So with those things, uh, I would let you know ahead of time uh, the schedule, the date. Uh, that way you can plan it, and you know you just show up, and next thing you know you, you know you just be just like people we have known since I started coming to Ghana. You know, it just takes an initial connection and introduction. So, so that's what we're doing, family, hardcore networking. Mr. Bumani, thank you. Yes, man. Nice meeting you. Nice yes, my brother, you. appreciate it. And family, keep it strong.